darling. Yeah, so I'll give you a break, in. What are you cooking for tonight? Dead pig. No, no. Dead. <laughs> dead pig. No, no, it's pork chop. That's a big one. That was a big pig. Oh, you mean the joke was big or the pig was big? Yeah, the pig. It's not big, it's pork chop. Pork. Yeah. I, I, used to, I used to grow these in Australia. You, you plant a pork seed and mm. pork chops grow. Yeah, so. Do you want me to tell you what's happening while we're doing this? Mm hmm. Okay, well, we, we take some of this pork here and a sharp knife mm -hmm. and then we cut it. My intention is to make a curry. Because you know, we like curries. So, what we do is we cut up the old porky like this. Nice sized pieces, yeah, don't like little itty bitties. And because you're a Filipino, and all Filipinos like to bum them, I thought I'd just put the bottom in. Oh, look at this. Oh. Mmm, fat. Never run away from fat. You should get in a plane and drive very, very fast. Yeah. cook outside because it's too hot to cook inside. This is called a dirty kitchen. It's actually clean. It's just the term arrives from dirty kitchen and everybody lived in a bamboo hut. Everybody used to live in a little bamboo house and they would have a cook on fire and then have charcoal and dust and dirt dogs, cats, chickens, carabao and that all be in the kitchen. It tastes nice. And the tradition has started. And when you think about it, where I'm from, it gets hot in the kitchen in Australia. It makes more sense. Sort of like a semi-barbecue every night of the year. Now, through the magic of YouTube, these are prepared. Garlic, onion, one, one potato just chopped up, that just gives you a bit of texture in there, and some tomatoes. I've actually sliced it and washed out the seeds and put the pulp in there as well. Seeds are not really, really good. Now, I'm not trying to cook this here, I'm just trying to seal it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some coriander and what's this one? Do you know what this one is? Um, cumin. Cumin. Yeah. And a bit of salt. Salt, now, yeah, uh, I don't, salt, yeah. I don't agree with salt. Salt is no good you. But uh, for those of you that like salt, I'm just telling you I put half a teaspoon of salt in this entire meal. So you let that just cook through like that. And uh, well you can see those little seeds in there cooking away nicely. Sometimes they explode. You've got to be careful. Now when that's doing that, drop in the onion. Drop in the potato.
stuff in your garlic. I don't pretend to be making a cooking vlog, folks. I just pretend to be cooking something that's going to taste delicious. I just got you cooking. So I decided to make a video. Sprung. Pour it. Okay. Just a couple of minutes. Oh, a minute. And then I'll add some water. Oh, so we can put Beautiful. This tomato, you cook it until the tomato starts to break down. That'll take a few minutes. And you'll end up with a lot of liquid in here. With uh, that little bit of tomato, you're going to get a lot of liquid. Maybe it'll come, come back when it's broken down. Oh, back again. How's this turning out? That one's good. Okay. Well, there's not as much liquid as I thought there would be. Now we put in the turmeric, chili, cumin. Go on in. Let that cook for a few seconds. The flavor. Ooh, lovely. Ah, smell that. Wow. Ah. Now the cooking actually starts. So we'll bring that a little bit of water. A little stir. Wait for it to come back to the boil. And see how the tomato is broken down? That will break down even more. Should disappear. Now it's starting to boil. Turn it down. Now. I'm going to transfer it to a lower flame, less heat. This one gets a bit hot. Shoot that little flame in there, darling. So tiny, just a little tiny bit of flame in there. <laughs> just enough to burn your fingers. Show them how hot it is, huh? Put your finger in and tell them how hot it Shut is. Shut up. <laughs> oh, she won't do what I ask her to do. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Looks good to me. Yep. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, while we were gone, we let that simmer. And I've also added a little tomato paste and a few chili flakes just to give it a bit more heat. This is what you would be probably do yourselves because you know, you'd, you'd be tasting it while it's cooking. And I think that's just about right. So good consistency. Everything's done. Give it a quick little taste.
I'm happy. It's good. Off the heat. On the lid. And inside. Add out there. A few little additions to it. Tomato and cucumber salad. My dog trying to be annoying and friendly and cute. Ow, 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 ow. She's, this is my other daughter. She's part of the family. Now this is it. So anyway, thanks for thanks for watching Cherry's vlog. I hope she's successful at it. I might pop in from time to time. But it's all her work. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.